Hello. And welcome back to Just RP. So in the last episode, we found out a little bit about the drug system on the server, or at least the weed one. Uh, we learned how to dry the plants, where to pick them up, and then of course, where to sell them to. So we definitely found out a lot of really useful information in the last episode. And also off camera, I did quite a bit of mining. I ended up getting ourselves up to 27, almost $28,000. Uh, definitely a lot more than what we were in the last episode. And I also have, I think, nine gold bars back at my integrity apartment or the integrity little hostel that we have and i believe again we can sell those to someone for i think he was buying them for 1600 each uh so we could definitely really make a lot of profit from that and i believe if we do sell off all of those gold bars that we will finally be able to afford unfortunately it's not something super exciting but we'll finally be able to afford our uh, minivan or just regular van which is going to be amazing for mining because that's what i've been doing a lot of recently has been mining now of course i do want to do a lot of uh, actual like rp businesses um i wanted to do a rental business or a van rental business but obviously i don't have the capital for that yet and also there is another um i think abby and two other people uh are running this rental company already i think they're going to be doing more like sports cars down the road and such i might just focus on just vans only get a bunch of vans and then rent them out to people especially for people who are mining who don't have them yeah here it is um abby and nigel are the two people who are renting out vans right now um i really really hope that uh they i mean hopefully they don't corner the market completely i really want to hopefully still make a van rental company because uh, i think that'll be you know some pretty fun rp as well as uh, making hopefully some good money from it uh, i still definitely want to do that hopefully their rental company focuses more on like sports cars and such in the future i guess we'll see though um yeah i think what we're gonna do right now though is hit over to my integrity hostel apartment and probably go grab uh, all those gold bars and then actually first of all we should probably see if the gold seller is or the gold buyer is in town also sometimes the locals do that it's uh, definitely interesting to see so i think we're gonna call up the gold buyer first to make sure he's in town and then if he is uh, this is a sketchy spot for a phone call why not uh, and then if he is we'll go sell all of our gold bars to him head over to pdm and grab our work van finally uh we've been working towards it for a little bit and uh yeah then we want to go do some mining runs test out how well it is see how long it will take to pay itself off off. Uh, I think it will definitely be a worthy investment and then if we keep reinvesting in like two or three more vans maybe then we'll be able to maybe start the rental company uh, I have a couple names in mind but uh, you know obviously you'll see when uh, we decide to do the rental company I'm also thinking about hosting it like maybe in near the mines so people near the mines can just go grab it or maybe just in the city um, like behind the bank or something just a spot where people know already and are able to just go there and rent the van and leave and then uh, of course use it until the server restarts or known as the tsunami me but uh, yeah i think what i'm gonna do right now is call up the gold buyer let's see if he's in town i think sam was the one that we were supposed to call Alrighty, so for some reason i had some problems with the phone and then uh, upon relogging and trying to fix some stuff i uh, got kidnapped and ended up getting used as a hostage uh, so exactly not the best course of action with everything that went on but uh, thankfully i did learn some good info from them again i learned out how to open up the doors now i don't know what bank card you need for the doors but i do know you do need a card for the doors and i know now where to put it in at least how to open the doors for jewelry so i definitely learned some good info from that at least uh, again it was just a regular hostage situation nothing too crazy but now let's try again one more time to call up the gold buy and hopefully we're gonna able to get the right number and call him up and sell the gold bars to him let's see what happens all right it seems like the first one is not in town let's try calling the other one hopefully he's in town if not we'll just have to wait till a little bit later and then call him let's see call this guy up real quick What's up? Yo, yo, this is Alex. Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's Zez, mate. Uh, you still looking to buy gold bars? Uh, sharp thing. How many you got? Uh, I only got nine on me at the moment. Oh, shit. A decent amount, decent uh, amount. Whoa. Hey, yeah, uh, what did we, we said 1.6 right per bar. Yep, yep. You still buying uh, at that price? Well, yeah, that, yeah, that's good. All right, sweet, sweet. Oh. Um, where do you want to meet up? Uh, I'm at Integrity right now anyway. You are, and I can, uh, come straight to you. Um, well, I still have to grab them from Integrity. Do you want to just meet at the, uh, big bank so I can just deposit the money right there and everything? Uh, you want the, the bank by Legion Square? Uh, no, the one above that, like the big one. Oh, yeah, the big, big bank. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. 
Alright, I'll, I'll head up there because I need to oh, grab yeah. the money. I'm gonna go there. grab. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the uh, gold bars nine? and I'll meet you there. Yep, yep, nine. Alright, alright. Alrighty, might see you in a bit. Sweet. Alrighty. Thankfully, one of the gold buyers is in town. Uh, I think the problem with the phone calls I was having earlier is how to clear my cash since I have it in like a year. And that thankfully fixed all of that up. Um, I'm not exactly sure why it was broken, but see, there's some. sometimes the locals are, uh, yeah. This is why I love having locals, because sometimes they do stuff like this. <laughs> Uh, sometimes the locals are fun, especially when they glitch it like out like that or uh, yeah, they oh what the fuck is my man just faced through the wall Locals definitely do some interesting stuff here and there and they're fun to watch sometimes uh, But I think we're gonna go again grab the gold bars from our apartment in integrity Go up to the big bank sell them to him and then we should have enough money finally for a work vehicle I think we're gonna get the minivan although I do want to check out what other work vehicles they have I think they have regular vans as well like the one I rented earlier Which might be better since it looks more just like a van you would rent Although the minivan I believe has four seats and I think the regular van only has two uh, again, I'm not sure about that, but let's grab the gold bars, go meet him at the big bank, and I'll see you guys once we're up at the big bank, selling the gold bars off, and hopefully making enough money for a work vehicle. Alrighty, we are here. I think he's actually right behind us. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Alright, good timing. What's up? What's up, what's up? Right, this thing is looking good Are still looking good thank you you too mm, nice looking car buffalo what you been up to mate? just chilling you know uh, just chilling honestly feel you, feel you. just making making racks you know mm-hmm yeah, i've been fucking poor as fuck lately trying to make some money you I know mean, you gotta make money somehow mm-hmm Hold on, let me. Yeah, yeah, take your time. There you go. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty, uh, let me just put them in your trunk. Uh, sure thing, hold on. Yeah. Let me double check, he paid us 1600 times 9 is 14.4. Okay, yeah, he paid us the right amount. Double check it. Yeah, he paid us the right amount. Boom, there we go. All right, I might put him in there. If you want to just double check it, you know, make sure it's all good. Thank you. That's, all right, anyway, thanks for the business. Uh, you take care, and I'll definitely be hitting up you later too. if I get some more. All right, thank you. All right, take care, take care. Get low. All right, sweet. Oh, we definitely have enough money for that van now. Definitely enough money. And the problem is now we have enough money to maybe get a not, a, not an amazing sports car, but we have enough to get a decent car. Um, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to just freaking... What do we have in our bank now? 43k. I think we're just gonna have to invest it in a freaking work vehicle, unfortunately. As much as I would like to get a nicer car or upgrade this one even, maybe. Probably not upgrade this one though, but I think we are unfortunately gonna have to buy a work vehicle just because I think it's the next step for us. Plus, if we buy this work vehicle and again, when down the line, once we get a little bit more money and we buy some more work vehicles, then we can finally turn it into like a rental fleet, which I think would be really good for money and, you know, be kind of a cool RP business to do. Although again, there's another rental company in town, but you know, a little competition's always good. Definitely makes the prices, you know, fluctuate and such. Uh, competition's always definitely healthy, so it might be fun to uh, start a rental company up. I think that's the next move that I'm be going for on just RP. But uh, yeah, let's go head over to PDM and see how much we can get for or see how much the different work vehicles are. Again, some I believe are pretty cheap. Um, I think the cheapest one was the one that we were looking at 32K, I believe, for the minivan uh, that holds a thousand space. And I believe there's a couple other ones that I want to see, uh, especially if there's some that are slightly faster or look a little bit nicer. You know, we might want to pick one of those up. Uh, let's see, is there anyone working here at the moment? Uh, I guess we'll see in a sec. Let's not park in the handicap spot. Let's go see. I don't know if there's anyone working here right now. I swear there were some dealers in town earlier. They might be on like a test drive or something. Let me tweet out. Uh, see if there's anyone by nearby coming over. Uh, anyone? Anyone available from PDM? Let's see if we can get someone down here. If not, this is actually one of the vans that I was looking at. Uh, 32,500. So I was looking at this or the minivan. Those were the two I was deciding between. But now, 
we're up to like what i think 43k yeah so we have a little bit more leeway in what we can choose so, oh it's actually the rhapsody i don't know i like the rhapsody still but <laughs> let's still look around this thing's actually this thing is what hmm you might want to look at this 65k it's not bad i think it's the sylvestra if i remember correctly comet oh comet's actually not a horrible oh i think we crashed oh no never mind comet's actually not a horrible price at all 110k that's a pretty damn good bargain for that car i know the coquette's also really fast only 91k damn the thing is hmm because i really want to buy a nice car i think we're gonna unfortunately have to invest our money in something a little bit smarter you know it's not as fun uh but you know it's something we got to do to make our money back and again hopefully once we uh, make our money back and we're making a little bit extra we can then start that, start that rental company that i was talking about but uh, yeah i'll just cut to i guess whenever a pdm dealer gets here and i'll see you guys in just a little bit all right so uh i think last time i was talking to you about like a work vehicle i finally i think i have the money for it now i'm just wanna you know now i'm just a little curious about what the differences are you know between the different ones it's not too much of a difference besides the looks. I know there's this and then the minivan. I was wondering what else you have. This, the minivan, and the bison, and that's it. All right. Can I take a look I at the bison real quick? Yeah. I think the bison has more than both of them, but I believe it's super freaking slow. Let's see. Oh, no, it's a truck. Oh, it's a truck. How much is this? Thousand? I think it's probably the fastest. Yeah. It's Ooh, it's the most expensive, though. though. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Damn, this thing, mmm. Fuck. And how much you're gonna mine or whatnot, or whatever else you may dabble into that you need space? Yeah, it's nice because this one's a lot know. faster, but it's also a lot more expensive. Yeah. Hmm. I think, regardless, either one yeah, is, is a good investment, you know? Yeah, how much is the uh, minivan again? It's the same as that, right? 32.5? Yeah, 32.5. Okay, okay. Children? Hmm? <laughs> no, but it's a lot yeah, of rocks. Of life? It's a okay, lot of so fucking rock rocks. Children. Yep, 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 yep. Ah. Um, hmm. Fuck, I don't know. What, what would you say? The minivan or this work van? I would say this one. I mean, I, really? I, it really has the minivan, though. Only a couple people, so that wouldn't be a bad idea. I'll pull it out real quick. Okay. Is it possible that I could, uh... Oh, oh there's the minivan. <laughs> he was pulling out the minivan. I thought he was pulling out. Never mind. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Oh, yeah, I can see Daddy's ass popping up in this bad boy. <laughs> well, what I wanted to see, um... Do you mind if I, like, take it to, uh, Benny's or something? Yeah. So I want to see if there's, uh... Do you know if there's any liveries for this? Because, uh... I'm, you know, trying to maybe start up a uh, rental company, you know? I kind of want, like, the same look for all the vehicles. Okay, okay. I'm too sure on the liveries, to be honest. Yeah, I have no idea if it has any, but... Might as well check. That's, that, that is true. This thing definitely drives faster than the vans that I drove. This is definitely faster. Yeah, this seems definitely faster than the uh, like the box vans. It's just yes, uh, I'm gonna be driving around a minivan. All right, let's see. Uh, old livery. I don't think that does. Yeah, it has to be livery. Hmm, doesn't seem like it has any. I'm not sure if only mechanics can do it though. Really? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, let me see how, what this can we can get this look. Oh, we can get this looking good actually. Eh, yeah, we can get this looking at least at least very recognizable. Yeah, I think we're gonna be going with this. Uh, actually, my the, I like the paint schemes. I think I'm gonna be going with it. Okay, okay. That's fine. I think we're gonna go with the minivan. I think it's it's Two faster. Seconds. Yep, take your time. Uh, it's faster than the box van. Uh, it holds the same amount, right? Let me just double check that real quick. Yeah, it holds a thousand. I think it's going to be worth it. Five seconds. Yeah, that was fast. Sorry, I popped sir. the trunk, sorry. Yeah, you can pop the trunk. Go for it. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the can minivan. Can you buy it, though? Hmm? For some reason. Oh, okay. Well, that works, then. It's Kabali. Mm-hmm. Kabala. Kabalin. I like that. <laughs> Okay, so I like your last name. Okay. I appreciate you it. Need the you have to only go grab 2, that. 32,500. Oh no, this is all our money. There's a freaking local out here using it as well. Hello, Mr. Local. I'm going to have to squeeze in there for a little bit. So 32,500. 
Boom, let's withdraw that. Oh my gosh, we're only gonna have 10K left in our bank account when we're done with this. Uh, there goes all our money. There goes all our money once again. Alrighty, mate. I got my fucking life savings here. Ready to give it away. Alright, am I good to sign? Hey, friend. Am I happy to sign this right here? Alright. Alrighty. There's no returns, refunds, or exchanges. Alright. Gotcha. All sales are final once the car is in your name. Responsibility. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Am Make I sure good to you sign? Eat this into a garage before. You I know. I know else. the drill. <laughs> you're you're good to yeet. All right, let's go. There we go. Woo. By my only sick rod. Magician. Oh my god. <laughs> I take care, Kyle. Thank you again. Problem, brother. Ooh, look at that burnout. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be it. We finally got our mini fan. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely not fast, but it's definitely not as slow as the uh, rent. Uh, There's a big, big van. Uh, now, I know there is a restart coming on the server uh, in about a half hour. So I think what I might do is just go park this thing. <laughs> okay, it's just guy biking. I might go park this thing up and uh, then probably just get off for a little bit. And then once the restart happens, I might get back on and go do a mining run or two and then uh, see where we go from there. I also heard about some people chop shopping vehicles, so I might want to check out the chop shop. Uh, I have a couple ideas of where I'm guessing it probably is. Uh, again, it might be similar with the drying station where I go check a couple places. Oh, there's a cop on us already. I'll go check a couple places, and then if we can't find it super fast or if in like an hour or two, we'll go talk to people. Uh, but again, I usually I, I have a pretty decent idea of where chop shops sh would be or where it at least makes sense. Uh, we'll see if it makes sense where they are. Hopefully it does but uh yeah now look at us we got three freaking vehicles we're ball i mean one of them's a bmx but we're balling out dude we got three vehicles we're uh chilling we now have a work vehicle to go do mining with again i'll probably be doing that. a bit of that off camera or just during a stream we might have to just do one or two streams grind out a bunch of money and then have a lot of rp because uh, i really have not done almost any grinding on the server at all uh, and i really haven't had to for the most part but again, I think what we're going to go do is uh, I'm going to go ahead off for a little bit. I'll cut back uh, after the server has restarted. We're probably going to do a mining run or two. See how much we make with the van because uh, we're definitely going to be making a lot more or be able to carry a lot more than we did with the little freaking Brioso. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on in town and uh, kind of work our way from there. So, yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. Once we get back into town, I think we're also going to be calling a bishop because he did want to get in contact with us. And hopefully we're going to be figuring out what he wants. We might, be, you know, be doing some RP with him. I guess we'll see either way. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a little bit when hopefully we're getting back into town and doing a mining run or calling up bishop. I will see you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty, so we are back. Uh, so I think I changed my mind a little bit about what we're going to do. I think instead what we're going to do is actually end the episode here. Uh, we got a decent amount done. You know, we finally got a working vehicle. We're definitely going to be using this minivan uh, for some future endeavors. Definitely going to really help us out as well. Uh, while we are mining, transporting a lot more materials than we were able to before. And a lot more stone and such. But uh, I do think we are going to end this episode here. Now off camera, I think I'm going to be doing a bunch of mining. Uh, probably talking to some other people as well. Trying to get some more information. And then hopefully by the time uh, the next episode comes out. I think what we're going to do is hopefully delve a little bit more into to the criminal side of stuff maybe try and figure out where the chop shop is maybe try and figure out where the weapon crafting location is maybe do a store robbery too i'm not really sure yet again um i kind of again don't really want to have a criminal record for as long as i can uh and once we start going to the criminal side of stuff if we do get caught there obviously is not really any going back so i'm trying to again be as legal as we can at least do all the legal stuff i want to do before we go into the criminal side of stuff but in the next episode i think we're going to try and get a little bit more information maybe figure out where the chop shop is maybe figure out what it's paying out as well um but again i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys have been enjoying just rp in general again if you do want to apply to the server links are in the description below without further ado hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video